Now the last ones here, they're actually similar to the ones we just finished doing, but when we write the proportion, uh, it's going to be like more algebra involved. I can't use that shortcut that I showed you a second ago. Okay, so watch. Here the, here's the variable that's going across the side. TU. TU is these first two letters. So I know the corresponding side is going to be UK. So where's UK? Here's UK. So I know this side corresponds with this side. So if, when I write my proportion, I can look at this triangle and it has two measurements. 7x minus 1 and 18. And then this triangle has two measurements, the 10 and the 9. But the 10 goes with this and the 9 goes here. Okay, so this one I can't, I cannot use the shortcut because there's more stuff in here than just x. I still need to cross multiply, but when I multiply here, it's nine times both of these. Nine times seven is sixty-three x, and then nine times minus one, minus nine, and then you finish solving this. Go plus 9 to both sides, that goes away. 63 equals 189, 63x. Divide both sides by 63, then you get x equals 3. Okay, pause that, I'm going to move on. So then when we look at this one, again, here's the x, that side CD. Here is C and D. So that matches up with H and G. Here's H and G. So I know these two sides match up. So take these two from the top. 3x minus 10 and 25. And then put these two on the bottom. Again, the 16 has to go underneath this one. And then the 20 goes over there. Okay. Multiply 16 times 25. That's 400. And then multiply 20 to both of these. So 20 times 3 is 60. X. And then 20 times 10 is 200, right? Yeah, 200. Then add 200. Add 200, 60x equals 600, divided by 60, divided by 60, x equals 10. Pause that, let's move on. I'm going to jump to 12 since it's right here. Um, here's, here's the variable, it goes, or it's on the h g side, so that's this side, so I'm going to compare it to the CB side, C, B, so this side is corresponding with that side, so then when I write my proportion, these two go on top, and then, and then these two go on the bottom, and the 10 has to go underneath here, okay? Cross multiply, cross multiply. Be careful with five times both of those. Um, 80x plus 30, subtract 30, divide by 80, x equals 4. Pause that, let's move on. Uh, if you look at this one, again, this one doesn't have our similarity statement, but this is the measurement for the big triangle. And then these are the measurements for the small triangles. And then these two go together because they're on the same side. And then these two go together because they're on the same side. Okay. 
So that's the proportion, now let's solve this. Um, that's 250 against 10 times both of these. 40x minus 70. Add 70. Divide by 40. X equals 8. And, and that's it. If you, uh, I'm pretty sure I remember telling the class, don't do the last two. If you want to do the last two, you can. You don't have to. Um, it's just more practice like this, solving something like these.